Hello, welcome to LV Toys. I've got Lego mushrooms to build. Yay! It's time to build another Super Mario set. Now, if you saw my previous Super Mario builds, you will know I have no idea what's happening in here, but I do know this set has 464 pieces and it's a it's one of the higher end Super Mario sets, but it's got mushrooms in it. Well, mushroom houses, and it's so blinking cute and there's pink boxes in it so of course I had to build it and possibly disgrace myself yet again because I just don't know how Mario works but you know <laughs> I can build Lego I just can't play Mario is that a crime it might be a little bit of a crime but it doesn't matter I don't care because I'm gonna build it so there are actually no instructions included in the box because you have to go online to get them that's kind of the whole point of this it's all tied in with the app with the super Lego Mario app but first up First up, we get to build a little pink cutie. Look at this little cutie. This is, this is Toadette. Toadette, she's pink. I love the fact that we get to build the girl first. Look at her little face. Here's a little face printed on the brick and she's got, yeah, she's got actual studs on the back of her head to hold things on, including a hinge. She's got a hinge head and we put that on there and then the hinge head uh, gets, oh yeah, okay, so she gets, her little, I'm assuming these are pigtails, but she's like a toad mushroomy kind of doodette, toadette. And, and maybe that maybe there's something else that aren't pigtails. Maybe they're, I don't know, big dongly things. Anyway, this is her hat and it's awesome. So now she definitely looks like the cutest little pink mushroom thing and absolutely nothing like a toad at all. In fact, here in Australia, we have quite a plague of toads and they look like that, right? So that's what a toad looks like. And quite often like this as well. This is how we regularly see them in Australia. Not like little pink cute mushroom things. Where on earth did these names come from? Why is she called Toadette? She looks nothing like a toad. Anyway, rant over. She's got the cutest little pink square here too with the barcode on it. So let's turn Mario on. Lego Mario time. It is. It's Lego Mario time. And he's going to jump on this little pink square and maybe he's going to say, hi. Hold on. What did he say? He said, Mamma Mia. Time to play. Time to pay? I don't know what he's saying. Generally, if you come and greet one of your friends, you say hi, right? Hmm. Anyway, let's open up the app and let's register this new set. So I'm um, here in the world. First up, we need to connect. Actually, we probably don't need to connect him to register it, but I'm just going to prove after the first video that I do not Bluetooth is and I can actually connect him even though I failed dismally at this before. Not my fault though, because Bluetooth was actually on. Even though I kept calling Wi-Fi, it just didn't. Oh, of course it needs an update. Right, we will fast forward through this. And there we go. Nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go and we'll fast forward through this bit too. Okay, here we go. So now we can, we can go. Oh. All right, so we've got plenty of spaces here because I've only got three sets. Oh, I forgot to mention at the beginning that you actually need the Mario starter set to play this. You can't play this without the starter set. So this is an expansion pack. Hopefully you already knew that. But these are the instructions and I've already done this first bit. So let's just fast forward through this. Can I drag the little... Why can't I drag a little stud? Okay, we'll just do 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 all the way through and click the guido going and now we can scan him. Oh, we've already scanned him. Well, he still doesn't say anything nice. Right. I think that's super rude, Mario. You should be nicer to Toadette. She's like, hello. Why does his eyes go all crossy? <laughs> his eyes do the dead eyes. I have no idea what's going on here. Anyway, we have registered our set now. Let's watch it get built because this is really fun. This is, <laughs> this is all right, not much more fun than watching it being built in Lego. But look at that dramatization. Pop. I wish mine popped like that when I was finished. Okay, so when we tap into it, then we can access all of the instructions that we need for the whole thing, plus some explanatory videos, which is very handy. It would have helped me the first time I opened this up, but I couldn't get the app to work. So now everything is working hunky-dory. I now have a vague idea of what's going on. Okay, Mario, how about, how about you go off? See you later. Bye. See you later. Let's move you out of the way and let's open up the second bag. Now, you may have noted that there were actually 10 bags in here, 
but each bag is kind of themed for each particular little part of the build. There aren't a lot of pieces in all of the bags, which is which is cool. It means we'll be able to get into playing it. So this is this is Toadette's little dude friend. This is Toad. Also, looks nothing like a toad. I love his smiley face on the brick. <laughs> and he's got a hinge head too. Plus a red. Oh, he's got red in there. Was, was Toadette supposed to have that? I don't remember doing that. Okay, and his hat has got red spots on a white. Oh, totally. These are... Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid sometimes. They're toadstools. Oh, I was just thinking of them as mushrooms. That's why they're toads. Oh my god. <laughs> slightly embarrassed but not a lot so okay I get it now but still toads I still can't move on from that oh my gosh okay we've got some little toadstools possibly that should have been a massive hint and we've got some we're making some balloon trees the instructions say to make two of these exactly the same but I don't actually have the parts to make two of these exactly the same and in the picture the second one looks like this so they are not two exactly the same but you know we, we, we know what we're looking at here. So we've got some balloon trees. <laughs> They're toadstools. Right. Okay. All right. So let's turn him on. Lego Mario time. Yeah, that doesn't get old quickly. Okay. So Lego Mario time. Greet your friend Toad. Stop dancing and greet him. Hello. hello. Oh, he says hello there. How come he didn't say hello? I think it's rude that he didn't say hello to Toadettes. Oh, okay, he does now. Okay, maybe I was just doing it wrong. Look, he's, he's doing the happy dance in his cat pants. Right, okay. <laughs> we had some revelations during that bag. Amazing! Right, so he's still turned on, so let's try this one out. Oh, this is a spinny one. He's got that spinny eyes of Christ man. Round he goes! Whee! What happens when he falls off? He's not falling off, is it? Yeah. He laughs like a maniac. Perfect. Let's stand him up again. All right, but we haven't finished building this bit yet, so it's not quite as precarious as it's supposed to be. So we need to make it make it actually spinny. So it goes on here. Let's try again. Oh, that doesn't work at the moment because I need to actually secure it to something. I'll hold it with my finger, but it will be underwhelming because I can't spin him as fast as I. <laughs> and he's dead. He's down. And I just like hearing him say ow. So let's, let, we'll put him up again. Stop torturing Mario. <laughs> yep. Okay. Off you go. No, that's the connecting button. Let's try the other one. Yeah. Bye. Let's continue on with bag four. So we've got a little spinny thing. We've got a couple of little, little, little registration panels for our mushrooms who are toadstools. Oh my gosh. Now, now do we get some of the toadstool houses? The mushroom houses. That was my problem was I was thinking of them as mushrooms, not toadstools. Why are toadstools called such a horrible name anyway? Like stools for toads. They're so, they're so pretty. That makes no sense. Lots of things make no sense anyway, but you know, I'm having a revelationary kind of time. Okay. We have a moving part in here on a hinge and this, this bit here is actually lying on his back. This is going to be the big mushroomy top. The toadstooly top. And it's yellow. It's so colourful. It's so bright and happy. And I'm not certain that I've put this, like, how does this work? It doesn't seem to do anything. So have I, no, the instructions say, the instructions say this is correct. So I'm going to leave it as it is and hope I haven't mucked that up horrifyingly. Let's put the, put the, put the yellow lid on and we've got a pink box with number one. It goes here. Oh, okay. So it tips back into the door frame. Once again, not my brightest day today. <laughs> we'll try that out in a moment. Let's do bag number five. See what else we get to build. We've got watery part here and some green landy bits over here. Look, I'm so much more advanced than I was when I first built the first bit. I didn't even think I knew what the land and the water was. But no, now I'm nowhere near an expert and got some built up land pieces and now kind of looks like something you'd put the spinny thing on. It's, it needs a bridge across it. It's a, it's an expanse of water. <gasps> it's a bridge. Look at that. It's like I foretold what was going to happen. We've got our barcode on the top and then we have this bit, which is not doing what, I, what does that do? Oh, that's awesome. So it slides across. I love the fact that it's on the stud. So it goes bum, 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 bum. All right, let's give this a whirl. Lego Mario 
Yes, it is. I know. All right. Yeah, we're all very excited. You can dance your way doot, 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 all the way up the grass, the grassy steps, and on your hop. And it's wobbly. It's got the wobbly eyes. It's going so slowly. I don't want to knock him off. Now, according to the instructions in the app, he's supposed to kind of go back and forth on it. Is that right? I would have kind of thought it was just to go one way, but let's just see what happens if I make him go back and forth. <laughs> Off. Okay, I killed him again. Is he making quacking noises at me? It's very, very strange. Let's try him out on the number one. So, if he jumps, if he dances in and he jumps on the white trigger, oh nice, he's got a one and he's got the dead eyes again. And now he can dance off again. Nice work, Mario. This is fun. This is a really great set. <laughs> yeah, you, you've done it. Yes, you have registered number one. Good work. Get out of the way. Right, move that out of the way. And let's just see if he does anything differently. Hello! So that gives, that gives him a heart. Why I didn't notice that before, I don't know. Because I'm not a very noticey kind of person, as I think we have ascertained. Okay, bag six. That was a little bit loud. Bag six. Bag six has got another mushroom. This is the biggest mushroom of them all. The castle mushroom, if you will. The mushroom where they all live together in peace and harmony. This is cute. I love, this is why I built, uh, built the house in the previous one, in the Yoshi one, because, oh, is it Yoshi or Yoshi? Can't remember. Uh, <laughs> he's moving on, but it's so cute. These, these houses built out of Lego are, are just amazing. They're so, they're adorable. Okay. That's enough. Enough. Let's put the door on. Adorable. And the lights go on either side on these little hooky bits. Oh, this is really sweet. And this one's got the massive big red. How are we doing this? Do we have big curved? Yeah, we got big curved red bits. And that goes all the way around. And then we need to fill the middle part out too. This is really quite a substantial roof. It's a big toadstool roof. It's a toadstool. Still can't move on from that. <laughs> Beautiful. And it gets the big white spot in the middle. And then it gets installed on those pins on the top. Wow, that is massive. And I don't think, because it's not actually for, yeah, it's not for Mario, but Toad can fit in there really nicely. I still don't like calling him Toad. That's a Toad. This is not a Toad. This is a cute little mushroom dude. Anyway, I will move on. We'll continue building their magic mushroom houses. Uh, okay, so these, I, I don't actually know where these are supposed to go, but I'm just attaching their little, their little registration barcode -y things on either side of the house. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> okay, we're up to bag number seven. Let's see what else we got. We've got two mushroom houses. Is this going to be the third mushroom? It's not, it is not. This is not a mushroom house because we've got water in the middle. We've got grass on the side and we've got land on the sides. This is looking suspiciously like the one we've already built, but no, now it's different. So there's land going it's a bridge i forecast this in the previous build when it wasn't a bridge but this time it is and it's got a wobbly bit in the middle so it was this bit where he stands on he goes little 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 and then he falls off because it's good fun when he falls off so there's a watery bit down the bottom and there's oh eyeballs is it like a red yoshi yoshi yishi hmm okay so this is like a little fish kind of thing there's a fin on the top and wings because fishies have wings they maybe they're the fins okay the instructions say sorry the description says that this is a cheap cheap and <laughs> looks like a fish to me maybe a flying fish ah uh, there's nothing there, there's nothing logical in this game is there i mean mario's a plumber for crying out loud what's he doing hanging out in mushroom forest Okay, but these spin, which is really, really cool. So let's turn them on, and there are two of them. And quack. I'm sure he's quacking at me. Why are you quacking at me? You are in a cat suit. So if we go up here, they got barcodes on the back, supposed to spin. So if you stamp. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> that doesn't work. I don't think I'm very good at this. I think I need to. Okay, so that's what it does. So is, is it hurting him? Is it hurting the fish cheesy thing? I'm unsure. I'm unsure, but I can see the grass registering and he's dancing away. 
Okay, let's turn him off because I'm confused by that. So I'm assuming that they are an obstacle that you you don't get anything good out of them. Let's go to bag number eight, which is where I saw some purple, purple roofing, purple, purple mushrooms, purple magic mushroom house. That's what I'm calling it now. They're not toadstools anymore. They're magical mushrooms of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not, I'm, I need to move on from that, I think, too. And we've got our purple bits there. We've got a white spot in the middle. And this is so, this is tiny. This is like for a little mouse. This is too small for Toadette. Does she get her own house or does she have to live in the big one with Toad? Or maybe she's in the one with the pink box on the front so her doorway is permanently obscured. That seems slightly unfair to me. We have got some interesting technique pieces here to make a bouncy bit in the middle of this boxy thing and our boxy thing has now got a lock on the front of it so this is actually called a treasure hunt expansion set and we are expanding the set with some treasure hunt pieces so this is an actual treasure box got the technique pins on the side this goes here and hold on we need some smooth bits on the top and then nothing happens at the moment Let's just fix that. Uh, yeah, okay. So now we need to put box number two. Behind the door is box number two. And when you flip that, that is really, that's, that's great. So I think he comes along. Let's give it a whirl. Comes along and when he stamps on the lever, which is currently, yeah, this, this chest isn't actually attached to anything. Really, so <laughs> that's going to happen. <laughs> we'll put that back in and I will hold this securely now. And yep. <laughs> Yay, okay, so we've registered box number two. I think we need to do them in order. I suppose we have done them. No, we haven't done them in order since we've actually turned him off. So I don't know what happens if you get them in order. Maybe you get bonus. That would, like a bonus, that would, that would make sense to me. This is so cute. The mechanics of this is, are really awesome. We're up to bag number 10, which is the last one. What else do we have? Well, we haven't got box number three yet. So I saw three boxes, three pink boxes on the back of the actual, uh, of, the, of the box that everything came in. So we've still got that one to come we're building a big tree kind of thing with some green cloud pieces for leaves are these a new thing i don't have any of these these are awesome or do i have them from the previous lego mario sets no i don't think so or do i no i don't think so i don't remember but they're awesome i'm sure i would have noted if i'd had them before though so maybe maybe i didn't i've got the memory of a goldfish sometimes Okay, okay, so but we do have these really cool green cloud pieces which make good leaves and this one when you hit the lever is going to expose the top, the barcode of number three. I think that needs to be centered. That one looks alright. This one could move over better. That's good. That is awesome. Oh, but we get one more character before we have finished this box. We get another Goomba. Goomba, 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 Goomba. It's like a drum beat. Yeah, Goomba. There's his face. Now we've already got three, oh, three, three Goombas. Three Goombas now. I've got two Goombas. We've got three Goombas now from the uh, from all the sets that I have built. So I have a collection of Goombas, but they all do the same thing. Let's turn him on, and he can dance up into the tree. Whee! He can jump on Goomba. Nice work. That's some good Goomba whapping. And then when you open this, you can jump on three with your crossy eyes. So his eyes get crossed because I haven't done them in sequence. I don't know. I really don't know. Bye. Turn him off for now because we have put, well, we got all the bags done. So let's put them in the configuration that the instructions actually say to do. Though you can set these up as in whatever sort of a circuit that you want. I'm just not, you know, super creative with these because I don't really know how it's supposed to work. So I'm glad that this time around the instructions tell me what is a fun way to set it up. So the treasure chest here on the end, now it's secured to an actual base plate. It's not going to tip over. Same thing with the spinny thing. And we put this over here and the arrow, I don't know where the arrow goes yet. We'll put Toad here, because that's where he's supposed to be. We'll put his house, he's standing out the front of his house. And there is still room to spin that spinny thing, so that's good. Tree goes there, mushroom goes here, and some more water connecting this here. I love that that little moving bridgey thing that's cool and we just got our yellow house to go oh <laughs> this is so awesome that's where our arrow goes so we start at we start at the at that front little green base plate but we need this box if we're going to actually do a timed course and they come from the the starter set which you need and this is the end bit 
And I'll just put that back here because I really don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> Let's just go through the course, see how we go. It is, just like every other time we turned you on. So, if we pop in here. Uh oh, it suddenly gets really, really intense. We got like time and move music. We can go back and forth here and collect in coins. And collect it fell off. <laughs> He's just happy, but that's okay. Um, and if we turn this around, and then we can pop over here and we can jump on this, and we can get this. Yay! We got box number one. His eyes are still crossed though. Still crossed. Don't get crossed. I'm trying my best. And then we're going back this way. Uh, let's just turn it around again. We'll turn it around so we can see what's happening. So through the water and around on the spinny thing. Round we go. <gasps> he was doing so well. And he fell off. Okay, dance around here. Dance over and say hello to your friend Toad. Hello. Hello. And then go past. No, we'll go around the spinny thing again. Spinny thing again. And then jump up here. And I feel as though. We've run out of time, <laughs> but that's okay. Let's go around all oh, the cheese cheese, the, 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 the like birdie fishy things, the fish, the birdie fishy fish birds, the, the, the cheap chips. Well, we should probably just call them what they're called rather than trying to put the two words together. And it's really totally ineffectual and terrible at that part. And he's down here, so we can go over here. We can have a go in the treasure chest. This is trying to make this much more exciting than it is, but it is fun. All right, he's registered number three. <laughs> So, up here, whap those cheap chips again. Whap them good. And then, if we go up in the tree, we can jump on Goomba. <laughs> then we fall off because, you know, karma, karma gets you. And then you hit this lever here really poorly and... Yeah, we've registered number three. Um, whee! And, you know, I think the music ran out quite a long time ago, but hey, let's just jump on the finished plate anyway. Oh, look at that. He's totally unimpressed with my efforts. <laughs> God, it's because they were really, really bad. Okay, I think Mario's totally unimpressed with my efforts, but now he's got magic mushrooms. He should be happy. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave Mario precariously balanced up here in this tree, and I'll see you with another video really, really soon. So uh, until then, you know, uh, next time. <laughs> see ya. Bye.